Welcome to the Geography of Turkey 2, Human and Economic Geography of Turkey course. In this lesson, we will explore the key features of the agricultural economy in Turkey. Feel free to share your questions and opinions through the eCampus website or email. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Turkey has a mixed economy that combines modern industry and commerce with a more traditional agriculture sector. The country has undergone significant economic transformation and growth over the years. Some key aspects of Turkey's economy include 1. Diversified sectors Turkey has a diverse economic structure with contributions from various sectors, including agriculture, industry, and services. The industrial and services sectors have seen substantial growth, with manufacturing, construction, and tourism playing important roles. 2. Manufacturing and industry Manufacturing is a significant contributor to Turkey's economy, with the production of textiles, automotive, electronics, and machinery. The country has a strong automotive industry, with several international automakers having production facilities in Turkey. 3. Agriculture Although the share of agriculture in GDP has decreased, it remains an essential sector, particularly for employment in rural areas. Turkey is known for the production of various agricultural products, including fruits, vegetables, and grains. 4. Services and Tourism The services sector, including tourism, has become increasingly important for Turkey's economy. Turkey is a popular tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year to its historical sites, coastal resorts, and cultural attractions. 5. Trade and Exports Turkey has a significant export-oriented economy, exporting a variety of goods and services. The country's strategic location has contributed to its role as a bridge between Europe and the Middle East. 6. Challenges Turkey has faced economic challenges, including high inflation rates and fluctuations in its currency, the Turkish lira. Political and geopolitical factors have also influenced economic dynamics. It's important to note that economic conditions can change, and developments may have occurred since my last update. For the latest and most accurate information, it's advisable to consult recent sources or reports on Turkey's economy. Several factors significantly influence agriculture. Here are some of the key factors. 1. Climate and weather conditions, temperature, precipitation, and sunlight play crucial roles in determining the types of crops that can be grown in a region. 2. Soil quality, the composition and fertility of the soil impact crop yields. Different crops have varying soil requirements. 3. Topography, the physical features of the land, such as slope and elevation, can affect water drainage and sunlight exposure. 4. Water availability, adequate water supply is essential for agriculture. Regions with irrigation systems or reliable rainfall are more suitable for farming. 5. Technology and farming practices, the use of modern technology, machinery, and efficient farming practices can significantly enhance productivity. 6. Land tenure system, the system governing land ownership and distribution can influence the scale and efficiency of agricultural operations. 7. Government policies. Government policies related to subsidies, tariffs, and agricultural support programs can impact the economic viability of farming. 8. Market access. Proximity to markets and transportation infrastructure affects a farmer's ability to sell produce and access agricultural inputs. 9. Pests and diseases. The prevalence of pests and diseases can affect crop health and yield. 10. Labor availability. The availability of skilled and unskilled labor influences the efficiency of agricultural activities. Understanding and managing these factors are crucial for sustainable and successful agricultural practices. Agricultural activities and main products produced. Grain farming. Wheat, barley, rye, oats, corn, millet, rice, spa, birdseed, creature. Legumes, broad beans, peas, cowpeas, vetch, beans. Industrial plants, tobacco, sugar beet, sugar cane, cotton, flax, hemp, anise, poppy. Oil seeds, safflower, sunflower, poppy, hemp, ethene, cottonseed, rapeseed, soybean, sesame, ground peanut. Tuber plants, onion, garlic, potato. Forage crops, corn, vetch, clover, sainfoin. Vineyard and horticultural plants, fruits, pear, quince, mulberry, apple, plum, fig, apricot, cranberry, cherry, peach, cherry, grape. Citrus fruits, orange, tangerine, golden top, lemon, bitter orange. 
hard shell fruits, pistachios, almonds, walnuts, hazelnuts, chestnuts. Other garden plants, vineyards, grapes, olives, tea, roses, flowers, and ornamental plants. Vegetables, leafy vegetables, cabbage, leek, chard, purslan, dill, parsley, mint, cress, lettuce. Legume vegetables, beans, peas, broad beans, kidney beans, black-eyed peas. Fruit vegetables, melon, watermelon, pumpkin, zucchini, cucumber, eggplant, okra, tomato, pepper. Root and tuber vegetables, garlic, onion, carrot, radish, turnip, Jerusalem artichoke. Other vegetables, cauliflower, poultry, etc. Spontaneous in nature, licorice, saffron, salop, fresh and dried herbs, acorn oak. When viewed from Turkey's perspective, agriculture holds a significant position and importance in the country's economy. Since the establishment of the Republic of Turkey, agriculture has played a crucial role in the nation's development. This sector, sustaining a substantial portion of the country's population, stands as a vital contributor to Turkey's economy, providing employment in rural areas, addressing food needs, contributing to national income, supplying raw materials for industry, and making substantial contributions to foreign trade. However, recent years have witnessed considerable pressure from urbanization and industrialization on both agricultural activities and agricultural areas. Key indicators and criteria defining the place and significance of the agricultural sector in the Turkish economy include Share of rural population in the total population The role of agricultural labor in areas of economic activity The contribution of agriculture to the country's gross national product The role of agriculture in foreign trade revenues while the share of the rural population in Turkey was exceptionally high at 75.8% in 1927, it dipped below 50% for the first time in 1985, reaching 47%. Following 1990, rapid declines in rural population rates ensued due to swift urbanization. In 2013, the rural population rate fell to 8.7%, reaching 7.9% in 2015. The table below details the substantial decline in rural population rates over census years. However, it's essential to consider that counting methods, census years, and legal regulations significantly influence these rates. Claiming that more than 90% of Turkey's population lives in cities today might be geographically inaccurate. Despite including all province and district populations in the city population for administrative purposes, not all districts exhibit urban characteristics from a geographical standpoint. The adoption of an address-based registration system, allowing people in both rural and urban areas to access services like education, health, and banking, has influenced residents' choices toward cities. Additionally, the Metropolitan Law of November 2012 played a considerable role in the significant decrease observed in 2013, particularly due to border changes in some districts and towns. In conclusion, relying solely on statistics when interpreting rural and urban populations might hinder a precise understanding of Turkey's agricultural population, production, and economic structure. Nevertheless, it is evident that the ratio of the rural population to the total population has significantly decreased due to the forces of industrialization and urbanization. Agriculture, being one of the oldest economic activities, holds a crucial position in societal life, irrespective of the development level of countries. This sector, responsible for producing food for people's sustenance and raw materials for industry, also plays a pivotal role in generating employment. Agricultural activities encompass not only the cultivation of crops but also include livestock, forestry, and fishing. Land use, specifically soil utilization for various socio-economic activities, is a fundamental aspect of agricultural practices. Soil, evaluated through different methods, can be categorized into five groups, arable lands, vineyards or orchards, meadows and pasture lands, forest lands, and non-productive lands. Each of these classifications represents a distinct facet of the complex and multifaceted field of agriculture. The evolution of land use in Turkey over the years showcases significant changes in various categories. Here are the figures for specific land types in 1950 and 2012. Field land. 1950, 18.5. 2012, 25.2. Vineyard and or garden. 1950, 1.8. 2012, 5.5. Meadow and pasture land. 1950, 48.1. 2012, 18.6. Forest land. 1950, 13.2. 2012, 27.0. 
these numbers reflect the dynamic shifts in land utilization over the decades, with changes in agricultural practices, urbanization, and forestry contributing to alterations in the landscape. Agricultural production in Turkey is significantly influenced by temperature and precipitation patterns. The country, characterized by semi-arid climatic conditions, has witnessed an increased demand for irrigation in agricultural practices. The diverse climates across Turkey have played a crucial role in expanding the range of agricultural products. The mountainous and inclined terrain of Turkey tends to have a negative impact on agriculture. The rugged landscape results in small and fragmented agricultural areas. Additionally, as altitude increases, agricultural activities often give way to livestock farming. The most favorable regions for agriculture in Turkey are the plains with alluvial soils. Soil maintenance involves practices and strategies aimed at preserving and improving the health and fertility of the soil for sustainable agricultural productivity. Here are some key aspects of soil maintenance. 1. Crop rotation. Alternating the types of crops planted in a particular area from season to season helps prevent soil depletion and nutrient imbalance. 2. Cover cropping. Planting cover crops during periods when the main crops are not grown helps protect the soil from erosion, enhances soil structure, and adds organic matter. 3. Organic matter addition. Adding organic materials, such as compost or well-rotted manure, helps improve soil structure, water retention, and nutrient content. 4. Reduced tillage. Excessive tillage can lead to soil erosion and degradation. Reduced or no-till practices help maintain soil structure and reduce erosion. 5. Nutrient management. Applying fertilizers and soil amendments based on soil nutrient analysis ensures that crops receive the necessary nutrients without overloading the soil with excess chemicals. 6. Erosion control. Implementing erosion control measures, such as contour plowing, planting cover crops, and establishing windbreaks, helps prevent soil erosion. 7. Water management. Proper irrigation practices and water conservation measures prevent soil erosion and maintain optimal moisture levels. 8. pH adjustment. Monitoring and adjusting soil pH to the appropriate levels for specific crops is essential for nutrient availability and uptake. 9. Crop residue management. Leaving crop residues on the field or incorporating them into the soil contributes to organic matter content and enhances soil fertility. 10. Conservation practices. Implementing conservation practices, such as terracing, contour farming, and agroforestry, helps protect soil from degradation and erosion. 11. Soil testing. Regular soil testing helps farmers understand the nutrient status of their soil and allows for targeted fertilization. By adopting these practices, farmers can contribute to sustainable agriculture and ensure the long-term health and productivity of the soil. Agricultural irrigation is the artificial application of water to soil or land to assist in the growth of crops. It is a crucial practice in agriculture, especially in regions where natural rainfall is insufficient to meet the water needs of crops. Here are some key aspects of agricultural irrigation. 1. Types of irrigation. Surface irrigation. Water is applied directly to the soil surface and allowed to flow over the field by gravity. This includes methods like furrow, basin, and flood irrigation. Drip irrigation. Water is delivered directly to the root zone of plants through a system of pipes, tubes, and emitters. It is a more efficient and precise method. Sprinkler irrigation. Water is sprayed over the crops in the form of droplets. This method mimics natural rainfall and can be used for a variety of crops. 2. Water sources. Surface water, rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Groundwater, extracted from wells and aquifers. Treated wastewater. Reusing treated wastewater for irrigation. 3. Importance. Crop yield. Irrigation ensures that crops receive adequate water for optimal growth, leading to increased yields. Risk mitigation. Irrigation helps farmers manage the risk of crop failure during dry periods or droughts. Crop quality. Consistent water supply improves the quality of agricultural products. 4. Efficiency and conservation. Efficiency measures, implementing water-efficient irrigation technologies and practices. Water conservation, using water-saving techniques, such as drip irrigation, and adopting water-smart crop varieties. 5. Challenges. Water scarcity, limited water resources in some regions. Environmental impact, the potential for over-extraction of water resources and environmental degradation. 6. Modern technologies. Remote sensing using satellite and sensor technologies to monitor soil moisture and crop water needs. 
smart irrigation systems, automated systems that adjust water application based on real-time data. Sustainable and efficient irrigation practices are essential for addressing the challenges of water scarcity and climate change in agriculture. One of the important factors that affect agricultural yields and irrigation in Turkey. The fact that the summer season is dry and the rainfall is generally irregular in our country has increased the importance of irrigation in agriculture. Plowing the agricultural fields and leaving them empty for a year or two is called fallow. Every year the sown agricultural land in Turkey is left fallow for about 25% due to the failure of irrigation and fertilizer. It is predicted that wheat production, which is 18 to 20 million tons, may increase to 30 to 35 million tons if irrigation opportunities are improved in agriculture. Fertilization in Turkish agriculture is a crucial aspect of modern farming practices. Here are key points related to fertilization in Turkish agriculture. 1. Types of fertilizers. Mineral fertilizers, these include nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizers, commonly known as NPK fertilizers. Organic fertilizers, compost, manure, and other organic materials are used to enhance soil fertility. Compound fertilizers, blends of different nutrient components to meet specific crop requirements. 2. Soil testing. Before fertilization, soil testing is often conducted to assess nutrient levels and pH in the soil. Soil analysis helps farmers determine the appropriate type and amount of fertilizer needed for optimal crop growth. 3. Application methods. Broadcasting. Fertilizers are spread uniformly over the soil surface. Fertigation. Application of fertilizers through irrigation systems. Band placement. Fertilizers are applied in rows or bands near the plant roots. 4. Crop-specific fertilization. Different crops have varying nutrient requirements, and fertilization practices are adjusted accordingly. Crop rotation and diversification are employed to manage nutrient levels in the soil. 5. Government support. The Turkish government provides support and incentives to farmers for adopting modern fertilization practices. Extension services and training programs are organized to educate farmers about effective fertilizer use. 6. Balanced nutrition. Farmers aim for a balanced nutrient application to avoid deficiencies or excesses that could harm crops or the environment. 7. Environmental considerations. Sustainable fertilization practices are encouraged to minimize environmental impact. Efforts are made to reduce nutrient runoff and leaching into water bodies. 8. Research and innovation. Ongoing research focuses on developing improved fertilizers and application techniques. Innovation in nutrient management practices is promoted to enhance efficiency. 9. Challenges. Balancing the need for increased productivity with environmental sustainability is an ongoing challenge. Managing the cost of fertilizers, especially for small-scale farmers, is a consideration. 10. Integration with other practices. Fertilization is integrated with other agricultural practices such as irrigation, pest management, and crop rotation for comprehensive farm management. Fertilization practices in Turkish agriculture aim to optimize crop yields, enhance soil fertility, and contribute to sustainable agricultural systems. Continuous efforts are made to adapt to changing conditions, apply innovative solutions, and ensure the responsible use of fertilizers. The agriculture sector in Turkey has undergone significant improvements and transformations over the years. Here are key aspects contributing to the improvement in Turkish agriculture. 1. Modernization and Technology Adoption Farmers in Turkey have embraced modern agricultural technologies, machinery, and equipment. The use of precision farming techniques, drones, and advanced irrigation systems has increased efficiency. 2. Crop Diversification there has been a shift toward diversifying crops to meet changing consumer demands and market trends. Introduction of high-value crops alongside traditional ones has contributed to economic sustainability. 3. Government Support Programs The Turkish government has implemented various support programs for farmers, including subsidies, incentives, and financial aid. These programs aim to enhance agricultural productivity, improve infrastructure, and support rural development. 4. Research and development. Agricultural research institutions and universities play a vital role in developing new crop varieties, improving breeding techniques, and addressing agricultural challenges. Investment in research and development has led to innovations in pest control, disease management, and sustainable farming practices. 5. Irrigation infrastructure. 
Improvement and expansion of irrigation infrastructure have been critical in enhancing water efficiency in agriculture. Modernization of irrigation systems, such as drip and sprinkler irrigation, has increased water use efficiency. 6. EU integration. Turkey's aspirations to join the European Union, EU, have influenced agricultural policies and practices. Adoption of EU standards and regulations has contributed to the modernization and standardization of Turkish agriculture. 7. Education and training. Educational programs and training initiatives for farmers have been implemented to enhance their knowledge and skills. Extension services provide guidance on best practices, sustainable farming methods, and technology adoption. 8. Export-oriented agriculture. Turkey has become a major player in agricultural exports, focusing on products such as fruits, vegetables, and processed foods. The emphasis on export-oriented agriculture has led to increased competitiveness in global markets. 9. Organic farming and sustainable practices. There is a growing interest in organic farming and sustainable agricultural practices. Certification programs and initiatives promote environmentally friendly and socially responsible farming methods. 10. Cooperative farming. Cooperative farming models have gained popularity, allowing small-scale farmers to pool resources, share knowledge, and improve market access. 11. Climate smart agriculture. Adapting to climate change challenges, farmers are adopting climate smart agricultural practices to ensure resilience and sustainability. 12. Quality standards and certification. Adherence to international quality standards and certifications has become essential for export oriented agriculture. Meeting these standards ensures the competitiveness of Turkish agricultural products in global markets. The continuous improvement in Turkish agriculture reflects a commitment to modernization, sustainability, and resilience in the face of evolving challenges and opportunities. Ongoing efforts focus on further innovation, technology adoption, and the development of a robust and sustainable agricultural sector. The technical studies aimed at enhancing yields from plant species and animal breeds fall under the category of agricultural improvement. Various breeding stations, research centers, and farms have been established across different regions of Turkey to facilitate these efforts. Examples of such organizations include the Manisa Breeding Station, Izmir Olive Research Institute, and Bursa Karajave Stud, among others. Another initiative geared towards increasing yields is agricultural spraying. This practice serves to curb the growth of harmful weeds and the proliferation of pests in agricultural areas, as long as it is applied judiciously and not in excess. The agricultural machinery sector in Turkey has experienced significant growth and development over the years. The country has a well-established agricultural machinery industry that produces a wide range of equipment to support farming activities. Some key aspects of the agricultural machinery sector in Turkey include 1. Domestic production Turkey has a strong domestic production capacity for various types of agricultural machinery. The sector encompasses the manufacturing of tractors, plows, harvesters, cedars, and other equipment. 2. Diverse product range The Turkish agricultural machinery industry offers a diverse range of products to cater to different farming needs. This includes both traditional and modern machinery designed to improve efficiency and productivity. 3. Technological advancements the sector has embraced technological advancements, leading to the production of modern, high-tech agricultural machinery. Precision agriculture technologies, GPS systems, and automation are increasingly integrated into the equipment. 4. Export capacity. Turkish agricultural machinery manufacturers are not only meeting domestic demand but also exporting their products to various countries. The sector's export capacity has grown, contributing to Turkey's presence in the global agricultural machinery market. Five. Government support. The Turkish government has played a role in supporting the agricultural machinery sector through various incentives and policies. This support aims to enhance agricultural productivity and promote the modernization of farming practices. 6. Adoption of precision agriculture. With a focus on sustainable and efficient farming, Turkish farmers are increasingly adopting precision agriculture practices facilitated by advanced machinery. This includes precise planting, fertilizing, and harvesting techniques. 7. Integration of smart technologies. Smart farming technologies, such as data analytics and connectivity, are becoming more prevalent in Turkish agricultural machinery. This integration helps farmers make informed decisions based on real time data. 8. Rural development. The growth of the agricultural machinery sector contributes to rural development by creating job opportunities, supporting local economies, and improving overall agricultural infrastructure. In summary, 
the agricultural machinery sector in Turkey has evolved to meet the demands of modern farming practices. With a focus on technology, innovation, and export capacity, it plays a crucial role in supporting the country's agriculture and contributing to its position in the global market. Products cultivated in commercial agriculture require marketing in domestic or foreign markets. To facilitate this, various cooperatives have been established, and the government has implemented facilitating, protective, and encouraging measures over time. For instance, the Turkish Grain Board, founded in 1937, significantly contributed to agricultural development by purchasing grain from farmers. The planning of agricultural activities in Turkey, along with policies supporting food production, is conducted by the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock. Zurat Bank and Agricultural Credit and Agricultural Sales Cooperatives address the loan requirements of farmers. Similarly, the Turkey Agricultural Equipment Corporation, TZDK, addresses needs such as fertilizers, tractors, and agricultural machinery, while the state production farms fulfill seed and seedling requirements. Additionally, organizations like Ant Berlik, Skur, Suka Berlik, Fiska Berlik, Toprak Mahjuyeri Ofazi, Terrace, the General Directorate of Agricultural Enterprises, and the State Hydraulic Works, involved in irrigation projects in agricultural areas, also play vital roles in supporting agriculture. The method of agriculture that employs scientific techniques such as irrigation, fertilization, spraying, and quality seeds is known as intensive, modern, agriculture. In this approach, the yield is exceptionally high due to reduced reliance on natural conditions. Examples of modern farming methods in Turkey include those specifically designed for greenhouse operations on the Mediterranean and Aegean coasts. On the other hand, extensive, primitive, agriculture refers to a method where modern agricultural practices are not applied, and traditional methods are used. In extensive farming, the yield is low as practices such as irrigation, fertilization, spraying, and the use of quality seeds are insufficient. Plantation agriculture is a method centered on cultivating one or several types of crops for commercial purposes in specific areas of tropical and subtropical regions. Wheat production in Turkey fluctuates annually due to climatic conditions. Adverse weather events, such as insufficient rainfall and drought, can impact yields. Despite the increasing exports of wheat-based products like flour, pasta, biscuits, semolina, and bulgur, there are years when Turkey needs to import wheat. Generally, wheat, barley, and corn production in the country are sufficient to meet domestic demand. According to the Turkish Statistical Institute, TUIK, data for the 2014-15 season, Turkey's wheat consumption was 15,604,000 tons for food, 1,425,000 tons for seeds, and 2,556,000 tons for feed. This indicates a competence level of 89.2%. As of 2016, the average wheat yield in Turkey was 2,710 kg per hectare. With the implementation of methods such as irrigation, fertilization, and the use of quality seeds, it is possible to increase this level to 4,000 to 5,000 kg. Taking appropriate technical measures, the wheat production in Turkey could potentially reach 35 to 40 million tons. Barley is the second most cultivated grain product in Turkey after wheat. It shares similar growing conditions with wheat but has the advantage of maturing earlier and demonstrating greater resistance to both cold and heat. Barley flour is used in the production of bread, semolina, soup, and pastries. Presently, barley finds its primary usage as animal feed, constituting 90% of its use, and in the beer industry, with the majority of the produced barley being consumed domestically. Key provinces contributing to barley production in Turkey include Konya, Ankara, Sanlurfa, Afyon, Aksaray, and Kayseri. Corn serves as a versatile raw material, finding applications in animal feed, various industries, and human nutrition. Beyond its nutritional uses, the stems and leaves of maize are employed in animal feed production, papermaking, and small straw-based handicrafts. Recent years have witnessed an increase in corn production, with expanded usage in the feed, oil, sweetener sectors, and biofuel bioethanol production. The adaptability of corn to irrigated farming methods has led to an expansion of cultivation areas in Turkey. While corn is traditionally grown in the Black Sea coastal zone due to ample summer rains, it is increasingly cultivated as a second crop in regions like Sukurova, Amit Plain, Southeast, and Coastal Aegean, with irrigation practices predominant in these areas. Rice cultivation, being a plant that thrives in high temperatures and requires abundant water, is most suitable in areas with average temperatures between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. The growth cycle of rice involves germination and growth in water from planting to harvest. 
Consequently, rice cultivation in Turkey is concentrated in valley floors alongside stream lengths. Due to the prevalence of mosquitoes in production areas, which can lead to malaria, rice agriculture is typically conducted in locations far from settlements. Notably, Adirne holds the highest share at 41%, followed by Samsun at 14%, Boxer at 12%, Chanakale at 9%, and Sorum at 6% in terms of provincial-level rice production. The combined production of these five provinces constitutes 82% of the total, with the remaining 18% distributed among provinces such as Sinop, Tekirda, Kruklareli, Bursa, Sankar, Diyarbakir, and Mersin. Legumes, which are known for their rich nutritional value and positive impact on the soil, play a crucial role in enriching the soil by binding free nitrogen from the air. In Turkey, common agricultural products within the legume category include chickpeas, found in Antalya and Istanbul, beans, cultivated in Konya and Karaman, and lentils, grown in Diyarbakir and Istanbul. Beans are typically cultivated in plains with altitudes not exceeding 1,200 meters, allowing for summer irrigation. Chickpeas and lentils, on the other hand, are known for their resilience to drought and ease of maintenance. Tobacco, originally a new world product, found its way to old world countries through European colonial activities. The Ottoman Empire initiated its first tobacco cultivation in Macedonia in 1687. For many years, tobacco cultivation covered extensive areas in Turkey. However, in an effort to prevent the production of poor quality tobacco, the state imposed restrictions on cultivation areas and refrained from purchasing substandard products. Particularly since 2001 to 2002, inspections and limitations have had a partial impact. In 2016, Turkey produced approximately 53,000 tons of tobacco, with major cultivation areas including Denizli, Manisa, Adyaman, Samsun, and Ushak. Cotton holds significant importance in various industries, serving as a vital raw material for the gin industry, the textile sector through its fibers, and the oil and feed industry with its kernel. Additionally, cotton's linters contribute to the paper industry. The oil extracted from cotton seeds is utilized in biodiesel production, an increasingly popular alternative to petroleum. Moreover, the growing global population and improving living standards contribute to the rising demand for cotton. In Turkey, Cotton production has been notably prominent in Sanlerfa, primarily through the southeastern Anatolia project, with Sukurova being another significant region for cotton cultivation. Sugar beet farming in Turkey commenced in 1923 to 1924, and the first sugar factory was established in Alpolu, Kruklareli, in 1926. Sugar beet cultivation is feasible throughout Turkey, dependent on the availability of irrigation. However, Due to the preference for higher economic returns, agriculture is primarily conducted in the inner regions rather than coastal areas. Sugar beet, requiring prompt processing after harvesting, necessitates the establishment of sugar factories near agricultural regions. Besides its sugar production, this crop plays a significant role in livestock with its production of molasses and pulp. According to historical records, tea production and rise began in 1917. The widespread cultivation of tea started to gain momentum with the implementation of Tea Law No. 3788 in 1940, as reported by the Rise Commodity Exchange. Between 1960 and 1965, the tea cultivation area expanded to 214,000 decares, and the number of producers reached 100,000. The first tea factory, named Merkez Tea Factory, was established in Rise in 1947. In 1971, the state-owned Enterprise General Directorate of Tea Enterprises was formed. Following the establishment of new factories in 1973, the total number of tea factories increased to 32. By 1999, Skur's wet tea processing factory had reached 46. The tea sector's monopoly was lifted in 1984, allowing the private sector to participate freely in procurement, processing, and marketing activities. Turkey has a rich history of grape production, and vine cultivation has been a significant agricultural activity for many years. The country has diverse climatic and geographical conditions that are conducive to grape cultivation. The main grape-producing regions in Turkey include 1. Aegean region. This region, particularly areas like Izmir and Manisa, is known for its vineyards and the production of table grapes. Sultana grapes, which are dried to make raisins, are a prominent variety in this region. 2. Mediterranean region. Antalya and Mersin are notable for grape cultivation in the Mediterranean region. Both table grapes and grapes used for wine production thrive in this area. 3. Central Anatolia region, Aksaray and Nevshehir, located in central Anatolia, are known for vineyards that produce various grape varieties. This region has a continental climate, 
and the grapes grown here are often used for both fresh consumption and winemaking. 4. Thrace region, Tekirda and Adirne, located in the Thrace region, contribute to grape production, particularly for wine. This region benefits from a milder climate compared to some other parts of the country. 5. Eastern Anatolia region, while eastern Anatolia has a more challenging climate for grape cultivation due to harsh winters, there are areas where grapes are grown. Elizg is one of the cities in this region known for its vineyards. Grapes are not only consumed fresh but also used for various products such as raisins, wine, and grape juice. Turkey has a rich cultural heritage related to grape cultivation, and the country is known for its traditional vineyard practices. Additionally, Turkish wines, produced from local grape varieties, have gained recognition both domestically and internationally. Grapes are a highly selective crop in terms of soil properties and climate conditions, making them one of the most commonly cultivated crops in Turkey due to their ease of growth. Image 2.82. Approximately 40% of the dried grapes produced in Turkey are utilized for various purposes, with 25% used as table grapes, 20% for making vinegar, molasses, and pulp, and around 15% consumed in the alcoholic beverages industry. As of 2014, the grape cultivation area in Turkey, according to Turkstat, is 467,100 hectares. In the same year, the country's grape production reached 4,175,000 tons, with significant cultivation taking place in regions such as Manisa and Denizli. Sunflower is one of the most significant oil crops in our country, primarily cultivated for oil production. This crop, suitable for cultivation in almost every region, is particularly valued for the quality and high oil content in its seeds. Sunflower holds the top position in terms of acreage and production among oilseed crops, meeting approximately 50% of vegetable oil consumption in Turkey. According to Turkstat data from 2016, sunflower cultivation covered 616,780 hectares in Turkey, resulting in a production of 1.5 million tons. This cultivation is widely practiced in regions such as Tekirda and Adirne. Sunflower is grown in various regions across Turkey. Some of the major sunflower production areas in Turkey include 1. Tekirda, this province, located in the Marmara region, is known for its significant sunflower cultivation. 2. Adirne, another province in the Marmara region, Adirne is also among the areas where sunflower is widely grown. These provinces, located in the northwest part of Turkey, are particularly suitable for sunflower cultivation due to their climate and soil conditions. However, sunflower cultivation is not limited to these areas, and you can find sunflower fields in other regions of Turkey as well. For the most up-to-date and detailed information, it's recommended to refer to official agricultural reports or databases provided by Turkish agricultural authorities. Olive production is a significant agricultural activity in Turkey, and the country is one of the leading producers of olives and olive oil globally. The major olive-producing regions in Turkey include 1. Aegean region, this region is the primary olive-producing area in Turkey. Provinces such as Izmir, Aden, Mula, and Manisa are known for their extensive olive orchards. 2. Marmara region, provinces like Boxer and Çanakkale in the Marmara region also contribute significantly to olive production. 3. Mediterranean region, Antalya and Adana are among the provinces in the Mediterranean region where olives are cultivated. Olive is a crucial agricultural product well suited for cultivation in the Mediterranean climate. Originating from the eastern Mediterranean coasts, olives are grown both for table consumption and oil extraction. In recent years, the growing emphasis on healthy and balanced eating habits, along with the pursuit of longevity, has led to increased consumption of olives and olive oil. According to data from the Turkish Statistical Institute, TUIK, the number of olive trees in Turkey has risen from 100 million in the early 2000s to approximately 169 million in the 2014-15 season, influenced by recent plantings. Over the last five years, the average olive oil production has reached around 170,000 tons, while the average table olive production has reached 527,000 tons. Prominent provinces in olive production include Aden, Izmir, Mula, Boxer, Bursa, Manisa, Çanakkale, Gaziantep, and Mersin. 4. Southeastern Anatolia region, some olive cultivation is also present in this region, with provinces like Mardin and Sanlerfa. Turkey has various olive varieties, and olive cultivation is a vital part of the country's agricultural and culinary heritage. Olives are not only used for olive oil production but also consumed as table olives. For the most accurate and detailed information, it's recommended to refer to official agricultural reports or databases provided by Turkish agricultural authorities. 
Hazelnuts are a product that significantly contributes to Turkey's global influence. They thrive in the specific conditions of the Black Sea climate. Hazelnuts are cultivated in numerous provinces along the Black Sea, including Ordu, Giresun, Sakarya, Duzje, Samsun, and Trabzon. This versatile product is not only enjoyed as a snack but is also widely used in pastries, halva, confectionery, and notably in the chocolate industry. However, there have been complaints from farmers and hazelnut workers in Turkey, who produce 70% of the world's hazelnuts. These concerns are related to challenging market conditions and labor issues, primarily associated with the practices of the major customer, Italian chocolate manufacturer Ferrero. Workers in the hazelnut industry express dissatisfaction with the demanding working conditions, including long hours below the minimum wage. Seasonal worker Bari Koyu, in a statement to AFP, highlighted the challenges, since the kilo price of hazelnuts is low, landowners and producers pay us less. These prices benefit neither us nor the farmers. Only big companies profit from this. Peanuts play a crucial role in snack consumption, and their oil is utilized in various products such as biscuits, cakes, crisps, and confectionery. Additionally, peanut pulp finds application as animal feed or in the production of artificial wood. The primary cultivation areas for peanuts are the Mediterranean and Aegean coasts, with significant production occurring in Adana, Osmaniye, and Kadirli. Organic agriculture is a form of agricultural production that does not harm human health and the environment, does not use chemical inputs in production, and is controlled and certified at every stage from production to consumption. This method is a production method that aims to preserve the balance in nature along with vital resources such as air and water. In organic agriculture, no chemicals or pesticides are used in any of the processes from the cultivation of the product to its delivery to the consumer. This situation is actually a serious step towards the protection of public health. As organic agriculture becomes widespread, the rate of diseases that are very expensive to treat will decrease and indirectly, the economy will be positively affected by this situation. Greenhouse cultivation in Turkey has experienced significant growth and has become a crucial component of the country's agricultural landscape. The use of greenhouses allows for controlled environments, enabling the cultivation of various crops throughout the year. Several factors contribute to the popularity and success of greenhouse cultivation in Turkey. 1. Climate diversity. Turkey has diverse climatic conditions, but greenhouses help overcome limitations by providing a stable and controlled environment. This is particularly important for crops that require specific temperature, humidity, and light conditions. 2. Year-round production. Greenhouses enable year-round production, allowing farmers to grow crops even during off-seasons. This contributes to increased productivity and a more consistent food supply. 3. Export opportunities. Greenhouse cultivation has facilitated the production of high-quality fruits and vegetables for export. Turkey has become a major exporter of greenhouse-grown products to international markets. 4. Efficient resource use. Greenhouses allow for efficient use of resources such as water and fertilizers. Controlled irrigation systems and optimized resource management contribute to sustainability in agriculture. 5. Crop diversity. Greenhouses support the cultivation of a wide range of crops, including tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, strawberries, and flowers. This diversification enhances the overall agricultural output. 6. Technology adoption. Modern greenhouses in Turkey often incorporate advanced technologies, such as automated climate control, hydroponic systems, and precision agriculture practices. These technologies enhance efficiency and yield. 7. Job creation. The expansion of greenhouse cultivation has created employment opportunities, especially in regions where greenhouse farming is prevalent. 8. Government support. The Turkish government has provided support and incentives for greenhouse farming, encouraging farmers to adopt this method of cultivation. The cultivation of agricultural products in specialized structures made of glass, plastic, or fiberglass, with the soil carefully prepared for production, is known as greenhouse cultivation. Greenhouse cultivation is particularly cost-effective in regions with mild winter temperatures. In Turkey, greenhouse cultivation has thrived in coastal areas, notably in the provinces of Antalya, Mersin, and Adana. Official data indicates that greenhouse vegetable production in Turkey was 3.7 million tons in 2000, a figure that rose to 7.1 million tons in 2016. Primary greenhouse-grown vegetables include tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, cucumbers, and watermelons. According to TÜİK data, fruit production in Turkey reached 422,000 tons in 2016. Forestry production in Turkey encompasses various aspects, including timber and non-timber forest products, as well as environmental and conservation efforts. 
Here's an overview of forestry production in Turkey. 1. Timber production. Tree species. Turkey is rich in diverse tree species, including pine, fir, oak, beech, and cedar. Logging. Timber is harvested for various purposes, including construction, furniture production, and paper manufacturing. Sustainable forestry. Efforts are made to promote sustainable forestry practices, ensuring the replenishment of harvested trees. 2. Non-timber forest products, NTFPs. Wildlife. Forests in Turkey support diverse wildlife, contributing to biodiversity. Edible products. Some forests yield edible products like mushrooms, berries, and nuts. Medicinal plants. Certain forests are sources of medicinal plants used in traditional medicine. 3. Environmental and conservation efforts. Afforestation and reforestation. Initiatives to plant new trees and restore degraded areas. Erosion control. Forests play a crucial role in preventing soil erosion, especially in mountainous regions. Conservation areas. Designation of protected areas to conserve biodiversity and ecosystems. 4. Forest management. Forest fires, implementation of measures to prevent and combat forest fires, which can pose a significant threat. Illegal logging prevention, measures to curb illegal logging and promote sustainable forest management practices. 5. International collaboration. EU funding, utilization of funding from the European Union for forestry-related projects and environmental conservation. 6. Challenges. Climate change, adapting forestry practices to address the impacts of climate change on forests. Urbanization, managing the balance between urban development and forest conservation. Pest control, addressing issues related to pests and diseases affecting forest health. Turkey currently has approximately 22.3 million hectares of forest, covering 28.6% of the country's total surface area. The concentration of forests along the coasts has facilitated the development of forestry activities in these regions. Of these forested areas, 50.1% are considered productive, while 49.9% are categorized as inefficient forests. Timber production in Turkey serves various purposes, with approximately 70% used in construction, 20% in furniture manufacturing, and 10% in packaging and other industries. Forests significantly contribute to Turkey's economy by providing timber for construction, mining materials, telephone poles, and supporting the production of paper and wood fiber chips. Despite a decline compared to the past, forests also continue to be utilized to meet the demand for fuel. Livestock in Turkey plays a significant role in the country's agriculture and economy. The livestock sector encompasses various animals, including cattle, sheep, goats, poultry, and others. Here are some key points regarding livestock in Turkey. 1. Diversity of livestock. Cattle. Turkey has a considerable population of cattle, contributing to both meat and dairy production. Sheep and goats. Sheep and goats are important for meat, milk, and wool production, and they are often raised by nomadic or semi-nomadic herders. Poultry, chicken and turkey farming are widespread for egg and meat production. Others, other livestock, such as buffalo and camel, are present but to a lesser extent. 2. Meat production. Livestock farming is a major source of meat production in Turkey, meeting domestic consumption demands. 3. Dairy industry. Cows and goats are essential for the dairy industry, producing milk and various dairy products. 4. Nomadic and transhuman herding. Traditional nomadic and transhuman herding practices are still observed in some regions, especially with sheep and goats. 5. Genetic improvement programs. Turkey has implemented genetic improvement programs to enhance the productivity and quality of livestock breeds. 6. Challenges. The livestock sector faces challenges such as disease outbreaks, feed availability, and the need for modernization. 7. Economic contribution. Livestock farming significantly contributes to the livelihoods of rural communities and the overall agricultural economy. 8. Government initiatives. The Turkish government supports the livestock sector through various initiatives, including subsidies and programs to enhance productivity. 9. Export and import. Turkey engages in the export and import of livestock and livestock products, contributing to international trade. 10. Halal meat production. Turkey is a significant producer of halal meat, catering to both domestic and international markets. Overall, 
livestock farming in Turkey is a multifaceted sector with cultural, economic, and nutritional significance, playing a crucial role in the country's agriculture and food industry. Livestock activities in Turkey include 1. Ovine, sheep, bristle goat, angora goat. 2. Bovine, cattle, cattle, buffalo, horse. 3. Poultry farming, chicken, turkey, goose. 4. Other livestock activities, sericulture, beekeeping, aquaculture. Livestock activities in Turkey encompass various sectors, including ovine, bovine, poultry farming, and other diverse livestock-related practices. The ovine sector involves the cultivation of sheep, including specific breeds like the bristle goat and angora goat. Bovine activities encompass the rearing of cattle, buffalo, and horses. Poultry farming involves the production of chickens, turkeys, and geese. Additionally, there are other livestock-related activities such as sericulture, beekeeping, and aquaculture. These diverse livestock practices contribute significantly to Turkey's agricultural landscape and economy. The limited number of small ruminants in Turkey is attributed to both natural environmental factors and socioeconomic conditions. The prevalent semi-arid climatic conditions, particularly in central regions, coupled with the existence of steppe vegetation, facilitate the widespread breeding of sheep. Primary challenges in sheep breeding include a prevalence of local breeds with low meat and milk yields and prolonged snow cover on the ground. Various sheep breeds in Turkey are distributed regionally, such as Karjabe Merino in the south of Marmara, KVRCK in the west of Anatolia, more Karaman in the central and eastern regions, and Daggles in the west of central Anatolia. In Turkey, goats are the second most widely raised small animal species after sheep, with goat farming, especially in the Taurus region, being prevalent in mountainous and hilly areas. The government has implemented a policy to decrease the number of goats with hair due to the damage they cause to forests. Another goat species of significant economic value is the Angora, Ankara, goat, primarily bred in central Anatolia and southeastern Anatolia, particularly in Ankara. Bovine livestock production is widespread across various regions in Turkey. The northeast Anatolia region, characterized by cool and rainy summers with abundant meadow vegetation, stands out as a significant area for cattle breeding. In densely populated regions like Marmara, Aegean, Mediterranean, and central Anatolia, cattle breeding is practiced as part of animal husbandry. A substantial portion of meat and milk production in Turkey comes from cattle farming. As of 2016, there are approximately 14.2 million head of cattle in the country. Analyzing the distribution of current cattle over the years reveals an increase in the number of cross-cultural and hybrid cattle, while the number of domestic cattle decreases. Poultry animals, including chicken, turkey, goose, and duck, raised for their meat and eggs, fall under the category of poultry farming. While poultry farming was traditionally a family business in the 1970s, it has evolved into a commercial enterprise conducted in modern farms today. Modern poultry farming facilities are notably prevalent, particularly around major cities. The demand for production and consumption has led to the establishment of modern facilities in rural areas, with chickens being the primary focus in Turkish poultry farming. Overall, there is a nationwide increase in poultry numbers, with Bolu, Sakarya, Boxer, and Manisa being key locations for chicken breeding. Typically considered an auxiliary agricultural branch, sericulture can be practiced wherever mulberry trees are available. Kozabir Leek is the sole organization in Turkey responsible for providing free silkworm seeds and offering support to all producers interested in sericulture. Diyarbakir, Sanlerfa, Antalya, and Bursa are among the regions where silkworm breeding is most prevalent. The decline in silkworm breeding in recent years in Turkey is attributed to the increasing production of artificial silk. In the field of sericulture in Turkey, the number of sericulture houses, box amounts, and the production of fresh silk cocoons in tons have undergone notable changes over the years. In 1991, there were 29,689 sericulture houses producing 50,623 boxes, resulting in 1,353 tons of fresh silk cocoons. However, by 2016, the landscape had shifted with 2,001 sericulture houses, 5,303 boxes, and 103 tons of fresh silk cocoons. This transformation reflects the evolving dynamics of sericulture in Turkey, indicating fluctuations in the scale of production and the corresponding infrastructure. Beekeeping, aimed at the production of honey and wax, is widespread across various regions in Turkey. Given the diverse climate types in the country, Turkey boasts rich and varied vegetation. Through beekeeping endeavors, valuable products with significant health and nutritional benefits, such as honey, beeswax, royal jelly, bee venom, 
pollen, and propolis, are harvested. Additionally, bees play a crucial role in preserving the ecological balance and enhancing agricultural productivity by pollinating cultivated plants. Throughout the country, provinces like Kars, Beatlis, Hakari, Rise, Ordu, Ankara, Mula, Erzurum, and Konya stand out for their noteworthy honey production resulting from beekeeping activities. Fishery production in Turkey exhibits several distinctive features. 1. Coastal fishing dominance. Fishing activities are primarily concentrated along the coastlines of Turkey. Coastal fishing, especially in the Black Sea and the Aegean Sea, is a major component of the country's fishery production. 2. Rich fish diversity. The seas surrounding Turkey are home to over 100 different fish species. Some of the significant species include anchovy, horse mackerel, mullet, sprat, bluefish, whiting, and acorns. 3. Black Sea Emphasis The Black Sea region experiences the most significant fishing activities in Turkey. The Bosporus and the Dardanelles, serving as crucial migration routes for fish, contribute to the abundance of oxygen in the surface waters of the Black Sea. 4. Concentration in specific regions. Fishing activities are concentrated in specific regions, with the Aegean Sea seeing activity in gulfs and river mouths, while the Mediterranean region focuses on areas between Mersin and Eskenderun. 5. Additional seafood harvesting. Apart from fish, Turkey also obtains seafood such as shrimp and clams from its coastlines. 6. Challenges in development. Despite being surrounded by seas on three sides, the fishery sector faces challenges, including limited open sea fishing opportunities and a relatively low consumption rate of fishery products in the overall diet. Understanding these features is crucial for policymakers and stakeholders involved in the development and sustainability of Turkey's fishery sector. Fishery products encompass all economic resources acquired from water. Major aquaculture activities in Turkey include the cultivation of fish, mussels, lobsters, and sponges. Fishing is predominantly conducted along the coastlines. The seas surrounding Turkey are home to over 100 fish species, with anchovy, horse mackerel, mullet, sprat, bluefish, whiting, and acorns being among the most significant. The Black Sea sees the most fishing activity in Turkey, with the Bosporus and the Dardanelles being crucial migration routes for fish, contributing to the rich oxygen content in the Black Sea's surface waters. Fishing in the Aegean Sea is concentrated in gulfs and river mouths, while in the Mediterranean, it is centered between Mersin and Eskenderun. Additionally, seafood such as shrimp and clams are obtained from the coasts of Turkey. Despite being surrounded by seas on three sides, Turkey's fishery sector faces challenges such as limited open sea fishing and a relatively low consumption rate of fishery products in the overall diet. Fishing conducted in rivers, freshwater lakes, and reservoirs is termed freshwater fishing. In Turkey, Igerder, Bezihir, Mad, Iznik, and Alyabad are examples of freshwater lakes. These lakes offer opportunities to catch fish species like crayfish, pearl mullets, and carp. The practice of cultivating fish through scientific methods in specifically designed ponds for commercial purposes is known as aquaculture. In our country, aquaculture primarily involves the production of trout, carp, sea bream, and sea bass.